Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today with Division 2's Warlords of New York expansion, tracking down all the Shake Tech caches you can find in the Two Bridges area. So, we're going to call this one right down here, number one. In order to get down here, you just need to make your way down kind of towards the docks where you see me at right now. You're going to find a couple buildings down here. Got a sushi bar sign on the front and Kobe's. Once you see that, head around here to the right towards Kobe's. If you need an ammo restock, there's an ammo restock right there. I want you to go underneath right through here. And the reason I'm leading you this way is because on your way, you can pick up a weapon case. Once you've got that, head up on top. And what you're trying to do is to get all the way over there where you see that uh, buoy in the water. In order to do that... You need to come drop down here. Of course it's not easy. Come on. Uh, you need to get back, get up on here. And then drop here. And go all the way across. Now when you get over here, there is yet another weapon case to be cracked open and looted. But you're going to find your Shake Tech cache right here. Alright, Shake Tech cache number two is going to be located just north of the Brooklyn Bridge control point. So that's where you probably want to start. Once you get out of there, make your way up to where you see us at on the map right now. This is kind of where you want to be in order to start your adventure to find this Shade Tech cache. Friendly control point nearby. You're going to know you're here because you're going to see this big guard tower out front. You want to go over the barricades and back towards these gray crates with the uh, yellow uh, wrap around them. Once you get past them, you are going to find this building where it says attorney and realtor. Come back, pry open these doors. They likely won't be open for you unless you've been in here before. Once you force them open, you can get up the rope ladder. And then once you get up to the top, you're going to head back through here and just pop that box. It's going to open the door. And that is going to let you in here to find your Shade Tech cache. Now, before I let you go, a couple of the things to point out. Obviously, the weapon crate there. If you come all the way back here, there's a uh, Rikers crate. So if you've been picking up Rikers keys or farming them, that's where one of the crates is. The other thing to pick up is an armor crate, which is over here. And... Second to last, one more weapon crate, and last but not least, if you haven't found it yet, there is one of the comms for Vivian Conley. So that's it for number two. Alright, Shig Tech Cache number three is going to be located at where you see us out on the map right now. Alright, what you need to do is either teleport to the main mission or the safe house and then bring yourself down to Catherine Street, right about where you see me at on the map. And what you're looking for is this flag that's draped on top of what I'm assuming is a school. Once you get here, head past the school buses into the uh, yard here where the police are and shoot down that bag. Once you shoot that down, you're going to go down around through here, shoot the lock off. Don't forget to grab your weapon if you want it. And then head up the rope if you can get on it. All the way to the top. Weapon crate here and here is Shade Tech Cache. Alright, Shade Tech Cache number four is going to be located north and east of the residential building safe house right here. If you are trying to navigate over there, uh, you may want to just choose this underground entrance. That will get you super close. Otherwise, if you don't have that on your map right now, go ahead and put yourself on the street right about where you see me at on the map right now. This is where you want to start from. Once you get over here, you're going to want to head back in this alleyway. This is where you're going to find that uh, manhole. And they're going to see this ladder. Go ahead and get up on the ladder. And from here, you're going to have a rope that you can ascend. You may have to shoot the rope down. I can't remember whether I had to shoot it down or not, but either way, there's a rope here. Uh, once you do get up here, a uh, quick side note, there's an armor crate and a weapon crate that you can, can be opened up if you so choose. Otherwise, head across and you're going to find your Shade Tech cache right here. 
Alright, our fifth and final Shade Tech Cache is going to be located all the way on the eastern edge of the map, just south of the control point that you see right here, derailed. Make your way to the point on the map where you see us at right now, and uh, just kind of hang out there. Once you get here, you're going to see this uh, gated off area with this restricted area sign. There's some other stuff that's around. Can't miss the lobster. Come on. All right. We can head inside here. Take note, there is an orange crate right there that you are going to have access to uh, a little bit later on. I'll show you how to get it. At least how to start it. I'm gonna head back over top of these fans, get up here, and your Shade Tech Cache is right in here. Just go right inside. No, it's not that easy. What you need to do is shoot down this uh, rope. So pop the rope, it'll drop down. Once it drops down, head all the way up. And then once you get up here, you're going to climb up here, up here. Now, before you go anywhere, you may want to shoot that box right there. It may or may not help you get that, that orange crate. I'm not making any promises. I don't want to spoil anything too much. All right, once you get up here, Friendly control point nearby. head down, keep heading down. You're going to find a uh, little place you can drop off, a little place you can drop off here. And there is your Shade Tech Cache. Now, in order to get out of here, just pop that. And that's going to open the gate for you and get you out. So, that is going to wrap up all five Shade Tech Caches that you're going to find in the Two Bridges area. Hopefully, that helped you track them all down in your own game. If you found the video helpful, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, share them with me in the comment section below. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.